guess what? It's There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out, and I'll lay your ship bay. See how I'll leave with every. take Madison to a doctor's appointment. I had the great grains and protein plus special K with skim milk this morning. And uh, I'm having some water. Better grab a vitamin before I head out the door or I'll forget for the whole day. I want vitamin too. Uh, get a vitamin for Madison. It's 20 after 11. Madison and I just got out of the doctor's office. Uh, she got her physical done. The doctor said that her glands felt a bit swollen, so she uh, gave her a swab to test for strep. Uh, so I'll be hearing about that later. And uh, kind of in a hurry to get home because I wanted to do yoga with Brian since I had to miss my body flow class today. Um, Brian was Brian's kind of doing, kind of doing P90X. He's not like being as strict with it as, uh, you know, the program calls for as far as having to work out every day, you know, because he and I talked about it. It's just not, in my opinion, <laughs> I don't know exactly what his feelings are on it, but he kind of agreed with me. I don't think it's all that healthy to be all or nothing in your thinking about diet and exercise, you know, like the way that I used to be was I was all or nothing in my diet. So it was like, if I wasn't going to stick to my 1200 calories, if I was going to go a hundred calories over, I was going to go a thousand calories over, you know, if I blew it, then I was going to really blow it. You know what I mean? And I, I've come to learn and understand and, and believe that that's not all that good great way of thinking, you know, because the best I can do is the best that I can do, you know, and the best that I can do on some days is 1300 calories, um, but that doesn't mean that I should blow my whole diet for three days out of the water just because I had to go 100 calories over, you understand what I mean? And I know a lot of you feel that way, have done that. You know, you feel like you failed on your diet, so you're just going to go back to eating the same crap that you do every day, and it's just really not good for you. And I know it's hard, especially in the beginning, to stick to a healthy eating plan, to stick to restricted calories or whatever. I know it's tough. No, I'm vlogging. And... But I want you to know that the least amount of food that you can eat over your recommended intake is the best for your weight loss. So like I said, if some days, say you're on a 1200 calorie diet, some days you're starving and you just have to eat 1400 calories, don't feel like that's a failure. No, that's not exactly what you set out to do with that in that day, that moment. But that doesn't mean that you're a failure. That doesn't mean that you should completely throw in the towel for that day or that week or that month or whatever. You know, you just need to do the best that you can and you will make progress. 
Um, but anyway, back to his thing, you know, I mean, and that's the way he was with his exercise. It was like, if he wasn't going to do P90X, and if he wasn't going to work out every day, structure it exactly the way that the program said, and if he wasn't going to eat exactly the amount of uh, protein ounces that he was supposed to eat every day, it was like he threw in the towel and then he wasn't, he just wasn't going to exercise, he just wasn't going to try to eat right at all, you know, he was just going to go back to his old ways, which being a relatively young man, it still hasn't caught up with him completely, you know what I mean? He's 30, he's still able to eat the cheeseburgers and chili cheese tater tots and all that kind of crap and not completely have it catch up with him. But you know what? He's starting to understand that it is starting to catch up with him. You know what I mean? He was starting to get the love handles and, you know, you couldn't see a six pack anymore and stuff like that, you know? So anyway, I think that he's come to the understanding that especially with a family and a full-time job and going to school, he's not going to be able to be so hard on himself, you know? And whatever exercise you can get in, whenever you can get it in, is better than no exercise at all. Ten minutes walking around the block is better than sitting on the couch. Five minutes of a dance game on the Xbox is better than sitting on the couch. You know, so three or four or five days a week that he can get in there and do P90X is better than nothing. And, you know, eating chicken breast and vegetables more than, you know, burritos is a better thing. So anyway, you guys get the point. Something is better than nothing. Some effort is better than no effort at all. I know I look crazy. <laughs> it's 12.34. I just got done um, doing about an hour of yoga with Brian. P90X yoga. Um, I just totally ran out of gas. Like, almost immediately. It was crazy. Like, usually when I go to body flow, I've got pretty good energy all throughout, but... I think it's because it's so boring, the P90X yoga. I don't know. But anyway, I did it. I did an hour of it, so here's my workout for the day. So, it's a fact. Madison has strep throat. So we have to go back to the doctor's office. It's 1.15. Got to go back to the doctor's office to get amoxicillin, the antibiotics for her. Um, and the thing that we are supposed to do tomorrow, Madison will be staying home with Daddy because I have to go because it's a meeting for, uh, well, partially having to do with the new babysitting co-op that I'm, uh, running, I guess. Um. So I have to be there. I I have to go, baby. You can't go. You're gonna stay with daddy. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have to go to the meeting. Uh, so anyway, uh, so she's not gonna be able to go to that. But it shouldn't really interfere with my gym time or anything because and and she's not complaining of any being sick or anything. I had no idea. She uh, really doesn't have any symptoms necessarily. So. Anyway, um, it shouldn't interfere with my gym time because the doctor said after she's been on treatment for 24 to 48 hours, she should not be contagious anymore. So she should be fine Wednesday morning uh, to go to body flow, um, so that I can go to body flow. And so yeah, it's uh, actually kind of Alana's nap time right now. Usually about 1.30 she goes down. Um, but we are going to go over there and then I'm going to go by Subway and get myself some lunch because I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so I'm gonna grab a sub, turkey and provolone on wheat with the bread hollowed out with avocado instead of mayonnaise. Cows, yeah, I know. Um, so that's what's going on. 2.15, we're back. Got my lunch here. It is thundering like a mofo outside. Lana's drinking her milk, gonna put her down. Uh, Maskin's gonna have a snack and have some quiet time. Quiet time is when she goes somewhere and she's quiet. <laughs> Usually goes to watch TV upstairs or in the playroom and just kind of veges out for a little bit, takes a moment um, for about an hour every day. Um, we started doing that when she stopped taking naps, which was about when she turned three. There's my lunch. It's what I told you it was. Um, and one serving of barbecue chips. I am starving. I have not eaten since I had breakfast this morning. Okay. So who wants another mommy tip? Not that I'm like chocked full of them, but whatever. <laughs> um, you can use your old wipes container boxes uh, for boxes for little toys like puzzle pieces or like Madison has a memory game that of course the boxes get destroyed and then the pieces go everywhere. So you could even take your cards from like Candyland and your little your little people and whatever and just put them in this and then I just put this in the hall closet. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of them in there with puzzles and stuff whose boxes have been destroyed or lost or ripped or whatever. And so this will keep all your um, all your pieces all together. Right, Madison? Hey. Hey, you want to show us the puzzle that we just did? Yeah. <laughs> you to move your hand. There you go. Ooh, strawberry shortcake. That was hard, huh? Right. So we didn't have a box, did we? No. So we didn't even have a picture to go off of. We didn't even know what this puzzle looked like because it's the first time that we've ever done it, right? Right. It's 4.30. Um, the electricity's been flicking, flickering here because it's been storming, and now my direct TV is out. It's like, you know, doing that load up thing it does or whatever. Like I said, it's only 4.30, but I'm eating. Can you see that? That's my enchilada, not really. Uh, leftovers, and I'm kind of eating emotionally and I'm super hungry because I'm just like a little frustrated and just not feeling great today. Okay. Like just really tired and like I've got lots of chores to do but I don't feel like doing them and I had planned on eating zucchini lasagna tonight but now I'm eating this so now I'm probably going to be over my calories today. And the kids are just eating a snack and being super messy and not wanting to eat and I'm just like really tired I don't want to really deal with it so whatever I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to try not to eat anything for the rest of the night only maybe a fiber one yogurt or something later I don't know really 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 didn't want to go over my calories today because I'm trying to get back down to 160 161 uh, by Wednesday, because that's the end of phase three. But, I don't know. Today's just one of those days. You know, I've been thinking about something today. And that is... I am... I don't know, it's really weird, like... If you don't make YouTube videos, it's hard to explain it. Um, but it's like when you have people that watch your videos and like you and like your videos and uh, subscribe to you and comment and stuff like that, it makes you feel good. It gives you this sense of like validation of people liking you. And of course, I mean... I think that's what everybody wants, is to be liked and to be accepted. Um, Maslow's hierarchy and all that stuff, you know, self-actualization, but whatever. Um, but it also, it carries some pressure in it too. 
Uh, because, like, for instance, I have no friends. I have some acquaintances here where I live, which I've lived here near Tampa for about a year, because my husband's obviously in the military. Um, I have some acquaintances through a, a play group that I'm a part of. I have some people that I went to high school with that I was friends with at the time that I don't really keep in touch with. Um, I have a stepsister that means a lot to me that I don't really have a lot of contact with. And of course, my mom and my stepdad and my husband is my best friend. But I don't have any friends. And as you can see, I'm playing with my hair. Did you know that that's a body language sign for when somebody is uncomfortable self-touch? It's like a way to comfort yourself. I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> because, of course, I'm human. That makes me sad that I don't have any friends. Uh, but it also makes me appreciative that I have my YouTube friends. Um, I definitely don't want to come off as, like, desperate or weird or anything, but, you know, a an online relationship, if you will, communication with all of you, it does mean a lot to me because I do feel accepted, I do feel validated, I do feel liked, and not only that, <laughs> as shallow as it sounds, it's kind of one-sided, which I don't really want it to be. That's why if you guys make vlogs and you let me know, or videos, I make sure to go to your page and like your videos and comment and all that. Because I don't want it to be completely one-sided. I don't want it to just be all about me, me, me. Because, believe me, even besides the validation or acceptance that it, it gives me, um, it also gives me a great opportunity to vent. It's like journaling for me. It's like instead of sitting down with a diary, I just pick up my camera, you know, and so it gives me the opportunity to let it out. Just like if I were to pick up the phone and call my friend, you know, it's that I get to, I get to let it out and I get to actually feel like I'm not just talking to myself, I feel like somebody's going to hear it eventually. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's just a kind of a weird thing, uh, kind of a weird dynamic that I've been thinking about. And along those same lines, get back to what I was saying about pressure. And I think this is, um, you know, what some other people might start to feel as they start, um, like some other people on YouTube or some other people that may be recognized um, for some other sort of reason. Um, as soon as, like, people start getting to know you without you really knowing them, obviously there's a vulnerability there, but also it makes you feel like this pressure to be good enough for them. Which is weird because they're already accepting you. Like, like me, like my vlogs. It's like, you guys that like my videos, not you haters out there that just want to come and watch and give me thumbs down and all that mean stuff, but you guys that actually watch me um, and comment or like or just watch every day and don't do any of that stuff but still like the videos, um, you obviously watch and like me because you like me, you know? Um, it's like that friend that keeps coming around but you're like, why do they keep coming around me? Well, duh, it's because they like being around you. You know, it's kind of like that stuff. Um, so it's like this pressure on me to keep giving you guys good material or to always be motivating and always be on top of things and whatever. I'm not saying you're pressuring me, but I'm feeling that pressure, you know? And in the end, that's not the case. I don't have it all together. Not even a little bit. 
I mean, I'm glad that I can motivate some of you. I'm glad that I can inspire some of you. But in the at the end of the day, I mean, I have slip-ups with my diet. I have days that I totally feel like poo-poo and I don't want to go anywhere. I don't even want to get dressed in the morning. I don't even want to brush my hair. And maybe the only reason why I did brush my hair is because I knew I was going to have a video camera in my face today. Um, you know, there's days that my kids just make me want to pull my hair out and lock myself in a closet, you know. Um, there's days that I'm just in a totally bitchy mood and I don't want to pick up the camera, I don't want to pick up the phone, I don't want to talk to anybody. Of course I have those days, you know. And this is my channel, this is mm, my prerogative, you know. I'm not making these videos because somebody told me to or whatever, so therefore I'm going to fight this urge, I'm going to fight this pressure that I'm creating in myself to be the perfect role model. That's what I'm getting at. Although that's a great byproduct of what I'm doing and I hope so much that I can help anybody with anything what I'm saying, what I'm doing, what I'm showing you, whatever. But in the end, I'm not here to be like this perfect role model for anybody. And so I just need to take that pressure off myself. I'm here to show you the real me. That means that I might make a vlog every once in a while where I'm like, you know, F my life. <laughs> and... It's not all cupcakes and sunshine and rainbows and puppy dogs and ice cream and unicorns and all that stuff. You know what I mean? There are going to be days like that. And some people don't like that. Some people don't want to hear depressing or just kind of like <clears throat> grumpy mood kind of video. I understand that. If I'm, in a, if I'm in a bad mood, I probably don't want to hear somebody else bitching. But the fact of the matter is that I think all of you that watch my vlogs need to know, especially if you haven't started your weight loss journey yet, if that's what you're interested in doing, or whatever, you need to know that just because you decide one day that you're going to be healthier and everything's, you know, not, that everything's not going to be great. There's going to be struggles along the way. There's going to be days that you don't feel like it. You know, I think that's important to put out there. That it's not easy. You know what I mean? So, anyhow. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm definitely going over my calories today. What can I say? Decided to make a little bit of a protein shake. This has one cup of unsweetened almond milk for 35 calories, 150 grams of frozen peaches, peaches that I bought at 99 cents a pound that were going bad on me, so I just decided to cut them up and freeze them, and um, about 50 grams of banana, and only half a scoop of protein powder. What? Okay, go back into the playroom. Um, half a scoop of protein powder for 70 calories. So I have to add all that up, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't have any excuse, so I was just hungry. And just tried to make good choices. I know that enchilada wasn't a good choice, but this, comparatively, I think is a pretty good choice, and I know it'll fill me up for the rest of the night, so. What is the matter with me? I have like no energy whatso freaking ever. I feel like I could just like pass out. I took my vitamin today. I worked out today. I ate fine today. I drank my water. I got plenty of sleep last night. I don't know what is going on. I feel so tired. <sighs> oh, I gotta study. I'm done eating. 
So, I'm going to end the vlog, study, and uh, I think I might be going to bed early tonight. I don't know. But anyway, as always, thanks for listening, you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.